and welcome back to another All Heart video. I know it has been so, so long since I have been able to sit down with you and show you some of the activities that we've been working on, but I did mention in that very last video that we had a very huge cross country move to prepare for. So we are finally settled in our home. We moved from California all the way to North Carolina. So if you happen to be a viewer from North Carolina, leave it in the description below exactly, you know, what area of North Carolina that you live. Now, this is not our forever home. We decided to take um, at least a year to really explore the area and really figure out exactly where we want our home to be. Uh, the one thing that we do know is we do want to be near the coast. Um, I will give you guys a tour of all of the rooms very, very soon, especially my children's rooms as I had to completely replan how I was going to work these spaces. Because if you recall, we had a very lovely, huge back space. We had a back house in our old home and we just had so many wonderful areas to be able to explore and that's very limited where we are right now. So I definitely had to replan how I wanted things in this home. So a tour is coming. So for this video, I wanted to show you some of the fall activities that my children have been working on. Now, I think I'm going to break this video up into a few different segments just because I've been storing all of these activities for like the past month and a half that I have so much to share with you guys. So I hope you and your little ones are prepared to get to work with a lot of these really fun fall activities. So with that, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. Now, when you think of fall, you think of apple picking, you think of pumpkins, of leaves and the different colors of the leaves. Now, I wanted to start off with the anatomy of the apple and I found these really wonderful cards on Etsy and I will make sure to leave the link down below in case you are interested in grabbing some of these cards for yourselves. Now, this was just like a download and I was able to download it, print it, laminate it, and they worked out perfectly. And including an apple, I think was just 100% key because we were able to really dissect the apple, look at all of the different parts of the apple and compare it to the cards. And one of the wonderful things about these Montessori cards is that all of the different areas are perfectly highlighted so that they're able to identify it with the object. So I would definitely give this activity two thumbs up. Now, once your children have become a lot more familiar with the picture and the word, then you can go to the second part of the cards, which just has the picture and the word separated. And that way you're able to see your child actually match the word with the picture. And this really just reinforces all of the different parts of this apple that they have been learning. And of course, the best part is being able to eat the apple after this activity. Now this picture I was able to find on Pinterest and I was just able to print it out. But again, it's just another way to reinforce the different parts of the apple. And I like that this was in the form of a chart. Now this is a wonderful set by Learning Dynamics and I was able to pick this up on Amazon. And I absolutely love the size of these magnetic life cycle of an apple because your children are just going to be incredibly engaged with all of the different pieces. 
and the pictures are very, very clear and very vibrant, and they're able to follow the entire life cycle of the apple tree. So because we have been working with apples, why not include a very nice, easy and healthy apple snack? So the first thing you want to do is be able to cut your apple into little donuts and the thickness really depends on you. Now I absolutely love these containers for my children's snacks because they are so easy to be able to remove the lid and have them grab their snacks whenever they want. So you can add any different type of toppings. My daughter loves being able to place some strawberry yogurt on there. And then my son likes to be able to use the peanut butter. So again, like I said, you can use caramel, chocolate, white chocolate, whatever you want as a topping. And then they were able to pour their pumpkin granola on here. Again, sticking with that fall theme, we needed some pumpkin granola. But this is just a fun, very easy snack that my children are able to prepare on their own. And again, it's just something that really speaks fall to us. So for these next few activities, we're going to be concentrating on all of the beautiful autumn leaves. And especially now living in North Carolina, we're so excited that we're going to have an actual true fall. So this printout is another one from Etsy and I chose this one specifically because I like the fact that it included the leaves and their shadows per se. So it made it just a little bit more challenging for my daughter to be able to identify the leaf with its shadow. And this is just a really wonderful way for your child to be able to refine their sense of sight and touch as they explore the material. And even though she's not able to read the word, it's just a really nice way to introduce your child to the language and concepts associated with the studies of botany and science. Now this puzzle I was able to find on Amazon and let me tell you, it is really, really wonderful quality and all of the different pieces are really well made and have just really beautiful, vibrant colors. And this was just to further help my child develop that ability to visually discriminate between shapes and objects of different sizes. And I think it was just the perfect addition to that previous activity for them to be able to identify and learn the different types of autumn leaves. These activities to me are very reminiscent of the Montessori Botany Cabinet. So I think this is a really nice alternative way to be able to teach your children that first introduction of the studies of botany and science without breaking the bank. So this next activity was geared more towards my daughter because it was focusing on introducing her to some new fall terms. And it's wonderful for her to be able to learn all of these different words that she's going to be seeing and becoming more familiar with when we are out and about. So when you're first introducing new terminology to your child, you do want to take it in steps. So the first thing that you want to do is have your child repeat the name of the object. And I do suggest that the word that you are trying to teach them has a picture. So that way they can associate the word with the picture. Once you feel like they have a very good grasp of that word, 
then you can go ahead and ask them to point to a specific picture. You can ask them, can you show me the corn? Can you show me the scarecrow? Can you show me the acorn? And so on and so forth. Now, if you feel like your child is still struggling a little bit, then just present about three or four cards at a time. Once they have a very good understanding of it, then you could go ahead and say, what is this? And then they will present you with the word to the picture that you are referring to. I always love to include an art activity in everything that we are working on. I just feel like it's just a wonderful way for your children to be able to express themselves through art and it's also a wonderful and fun learning tool. So all that you're going to need is some painting paper, some pens, markers, and some paint. So you want to go ahead and trace your child's hand if you feel like they are going to struggle a little bit. If you feel like your child is very steady with their marker, then of course they can go ahead and trace their own hand. Once you have finished with that, then you can go ahead and set out their different colored paints. And for this activity, since it is a fall activity, I did want to include some fall colors. So your bright oranges, your light greens, yellows, browns, reds, and all they're going to do is they're going to use their fingers to paint these little leaves on their tree. Now for the tree trunk, that is what their hand was traced as. So they can go ahead and paint it with their fingers if they want to. My children wanted to use the paint brushes. So it's really a matter of preference. Your children can choose. I have all of their art supplies out and readily available for them so they are able to kind of pick and choose whatever they want to use. But it is an activity that is going to get a little messy. I did provide some wipes for them so that they can wipe their fingers every time they wanted to choose a new color. But this was just such a fun activity and they were so proud of their work and couldn't wait to present it on our blackboard. And that will do it for this video. I really hope that you and your children enjoyed all of these fall activities. Remember that we do have a second part to this video coming out very, very soon. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and remember to ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you back here very, very soon.